I'm with Dora Economides, who is part of the Radio Bubble community, a radio station in Athens which is doing absolutely fantastic work and is involved in a number of solidarity initiatives. Indeed, some of the people at Radio Bubble are volunteering in the project that we have with Zoe Mavrudi that you will have seen written about and on our YouTube clips about the human rights abuses of women in Athens and the influence of the media and the police in that terrible event. Dora, please tell me some of the, the work that Radio Bubble's doing, in particular the new international show that you have, which I'm a avid listener of and I would encourage everybody who is watching this on YouTube or on iTunes to check Dora's programme out, which is on a Saturday. Do you want to tell us a little bit more, yeah. Dora? Uh, so Radio Bubble is an online community and web radio. It was started in 2007. The idea being that we wanted to have a radio station where we could do what we wanted to do instead of having to thank sponsors and play playlists that were pushed on us by music companies. So there's a strong cultural component with the music part. There's the community section on our blog where whenever whoever wants to can upload uh, uh, their own music show or their own podcast about anything they're interested in and there's a news section. The idea in Radio Bubble is that we try to crowdsource information. So the news section in Greek will rely on news provided by citizens through Twitter who use the hashtag RBNews and now we started this English, French and Spanish language uh, shows. The English language show is bigger, it's on Saturday afternoons, there's a news bulletin and we try to interview someone every week about an issue of general interest. The big series we have going on right now is about culture in the time of the crisis. And we also have a shorter French and Spanish language news bulletin every week on Saturday afternoons. Thanks for those comments, Dora. I mean, I've visited the Radio Bubble community on a number of occasions and avidly read and listen to what's going on and I was absolutely astounded, although I don't know why I should be that the RB News hashtag is the second most popular second one. Second most popular in Greece last which, year. Which is just amazing, it just shows you the amount of individuals at the grassroots level who are creating a new stream that is being disseminated across Athens and wider Greece and it's, it's a truly inspiring Community, I yeah. think I, I can't think of many other initiatives in the world that are doing something quite like you're doing, Dora. I we don't know of any. We've been looking for one, but we don't know of any. If you go on Twitter on the RB News hashtag, anyone who is seeing something that they deem newsworthy are going to tweet it using the hashtag, and then we have teams of volunteers who are going to be monitoring the hashtag all day long and who will be uh, uploading specific news items that they're able to verify on the site. So on news.radiobubble.gr, news you'll have the news in Greek, and on international.radiobubble.gr, there's a news feed in English where we translate things after we verify them and we upload them. And very often we have coverage of events that mainstream media will ignore. So this is for me the most interesting part, is that we are able, through the use of the hashtag, to put out news that really matters to people, uh, instead of having news that matters to owners of TV or radio stations or of big newspapers in Greece. Dora, we face the same issue across the world and we have the same issue in the UK and Ireland in terms of media conglomerates and rich individuals who want to push a particular political and economic line which by and large is always pro-austerity and it's so important that we have initiatives like Radio Bubble and also USI who are trying to get out a different news stream that is relevant to the interests of working people and those who are unfortunately as a result of this crisis through no fault of their own facing unemployment for long periods of time. I would encourage you also to check Dora out on Twitter, she's at, at Irate Greek and comes out with some fantastic correspondence about what's going on across Greece at the moment, particularly about worker struggles, human rights abuses, the activities of the Nazis and Golden Dawn and I would encourage everybody to check out 
Dora at Irate Greek on Twitter, but also the wider activities of Radio Bubble, which is a truly inspiring initiative. Uh, there's one more thing I'd like to say. There's the project that we have that is funded by USI, which is a documentary on the story of a group of HIV-positive women who were arrested last year, just before the elections by the authorities, and put in prison on charges of seeking intentionally to cause grievous bodily harm. Zoe Mavrudi is working on this, and I would encourage everyone to go on the USI site and to read those articles written by Zoe on the matter. This is a type of human rights violation that we don't expect to find in a European country. This is something that you would expect to find in Zimbabwe. Uh, and that this is happening in Europe and that it is being covered up by Greek media who actually presented those women as criminals and that it's being ignored by Western media or international media more generally and it has been covered very little by human rights organizations is a, a very strong indication of the sorry states of human rights in this country. Thanks Dora for those kind comments and of course we encourage you to check out those articles by Zoe and including a fantastic video contribution on your show a number of weeks ago in a 45 minute length interview discussing the ins and outs of this case. It's a truly awful case and thank you very much Dora. Thank you.